Good morning, good afternoon, good evening across the country, around the world. Welcome back to Planet Coaster Beta Career Mode. We're still in the Monolith Park. There it is, the Monolith. They're crazy. Um, and we're back. I think this is, what, the third episode now inside the Monolith Park. We recently got a coaster that's decent. Not insanely exciting. Uh, not quite exciting enough to fulfill the coaster requirements. Needs to be at least a five, at least a four, and no more than six, uh, and long. So we'll get to that later. Uh, profit from rides that'll take a while as well. The main goal for 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 the moment, for right now, is to make the park profitable, and I think we've gotten there. And every once in a while, you'll have a an off month and a barely break even month, but for the most part, we're making money. And see, the month's almost over. Here, let's go ahead and run it at fast speed. My prediction is it'll stay about there, thirteen to fourteen hundred, which is fine as long as we can keep making something like that. That's good because we can pay off a loan. Soon we'll be able to pay off a loan. I think I want to get to about fifteen thousand dollars, and then we can pay off a loan. Probably pay off the cheaper one, but that'll still cut us cut out five hundred dollars a month out of what we're paying every month out of the park management, I believe. Yeah, because there's interest and low monthly payments, so it's between those two. Uh, but you cut out that, and that's that's a good chunk of money. Ooh, okay, so it dropped back down. We're actually losing money at a quick rate. That's interesting. Hmm. But we still, we did. We made money. It was positive. So as long as we can keep that going... We'll be okay. Um, something I noticed, uh, noticed, learned, discovered, take your pick, um, about rides and maintenance. The status, the wear and tear. This, at least for this park, this is accelerated because of the monoliths and the effect they have on the rides. Um, something I noticed, you can request it for refurbishment, and that will repair, remove all wear and tear. Or, this says, request inspection, make sure your ride is running smoothly. Which it does, but it actually will increase your, or it'll, it'll push the bar up on the wear and tear. And uh, I currently have three mechanics. I have one for these two, and I have two for these three. So I know that I can, oh, see, like the coaster is broken down. Uh, so he's there. Great. So he's going to fix it, and that's going to be good, and that'll get people back on it again. See, it sometimes these break down when it gets all the way down. Otherwise, it's just random effects, random elements, they break down. And a, a breakdown could be something else. Oh, oh, good. So he repaired it, and it's all the way green. So that's good. But if this gets back down somewhere, I can hit request inspection. He'll inspect it. It'll jump up a bit. I can keep, as soon as he leaves, I can request another inspection. He'll come back, and it'll keep bumping up again and again and again and again. See, and he's already back for an inspection. Poof, there it is. Okay, good. So as long as I keep inspecting it in a timely manner, you're good. If you need to, like I said, you can keep clicking request inspection, and that can jump this up. It's easier to do that and manage it with a coaster because of the, their dispatch intervals. You have a little more time, and the coasters are constantly rolling through the station. But something like the Cycola, you stop it from dispatching at all, and that'll slow things down a bit. Um, like his maintenance is fairly low, but we can request an inspection anyway, just to get things moving along. A part of me is tempted to make one of those guys just between these two, just to... I think we'll do that with this. We'll, we'll edit the uh, work roster. Yeah, see, he's stuck outside. He can't enter the ride envelope until uh, until the ride is done cycling, which is fairly correct for attractions operations. And there he goes. He's in there now, and he's going to inspect. I love how he just walks straight through the console. That's fun. And then when he leaves, we'll see that bar jump up. There it goes. So it's green again. So that's helpful. Uh, the cube was broken and has been fixed. Still making money. Park rating is going down. Uh, wow, blue one has been fixed. That's great. So our park rating has been going down. Our guests aren't as happy. And then we got a good bump because we added in the food and whatnot. Um, so we've got, we're over 10,000 and we're still making money. So I'm going to take a moment and uh, I'm actually going to enclose these in something. I'm going to try and clone the, the, the restroom's shack. Make it a blueprint. We'll take a look at that real quick. Whoop, over here. Hello. So, let's see. We'll try the selection tool. 
We'll select all of this. Um, and then can we go... Let's see, it has... It's one building, 42, so it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't include those? Or control? Nope. Oh, I clicked the rock way over there. Okay, let's try that again. So let's see if we can... Uh, ooh, I don't want those rocks way over there. That's Or that light. No, no, no. Let's just get this stuff here. There we go. 42 parts. And yeah, it looks like it is including those things. Shift. Right click. No, I can't get rid of those. Interesting. Uh, save selection as blueprint. Uh, new blueprint. Do, do, do. Shack 1. 2x shack. Just because it's two spaces wide there. Uh, yeah, okay. Create, a, create that as a blueprint. So now it's saved my blueprints. I can pull it out. And unfortunately, it's restrooms. It's not really what I wanted. Um, how much do you cost? 628. Or 682. Real quick, I'm going to see if I can place this and then. Building. Edit the building. Delete that. Delete that and delete the restroom sign. Aha! So now I can select all of that and it's yes, that sounds about right. Oop, except not the rock. Not that rock either. Got all the lamp posts. Yes. Good. And now I can save it as a blueprint. We can actually overwrite that one. Update the blueprint. So now we've got this guy. Um, move him. And now, in theory, we should be able to slot it onto one of these guys. Although I think it's going to be, they're going to be, it's too wide. Yeah, it's going to be too wide for a lot of these things. I mean, you can see how it could just slot right in there. But it's going to impinge on the path. And I'm not sure... Let's see, select, edit building, aha, here's how you do it, and nope, it doesn't really do it like that either, oh, well, that's a pity, I thought I could just click, clip this on to there, I mean, it's on angle snap, but it's not, I mean, I could just, it looks like it kind of wants to, I mean, there's that, which doesn't look horrible. Uh, let's go ahead and demolish that. Although, something that... No, no, I can't I can't live with this. Something that I've seen a lot of other YouTubers do in Planet Coaster, and it, it drives me just a little bit bonkers, is having scenery pieces impinge, or whatever, infringe on the paths. And then you have guests walk through said buildings. It, I, that... Urgh, that is something that bothers the crap out of me. So... No, this is not what we're going to go for. Uh, I'll build something else around these guys uh, in a bit. But for the moment, I think I'm going to take care of a little more, like I said, park management. Stuff. How are you doing? Woo. So, oh good, there's one already there. Here, we're going to use the inspection trick. Well, we are running at three times speed, so things are quick. But there, see, he bounces right back in again. And that'll get this up. Um, I don't believe this costs anything. I could be wrong. I don't believe this costs anything. I did this once, and I tried watching it um, and seeing him. He went off somewhere else. I just got off to something else. He went to go fix a wild blue. But the other guy's coming back. Uh, I, I was checking the, the what's it called? The good. I was checking the, what was I checking? The financials. And doing this, it didn't show, you know, upping costs, aside from the regular old incremental costs that are normally there. Come back, come back. Like I said, it kind of delays things. It delays the dispatch a little bit, but not too terribly much. And if it guarantees this ride won't break down, or at least helps to, to not guarantee, but helps to 
ensure this ride will not break down. It's it's good. Cube has been fixed. Our cola's broken down. Okay. So, uh, my rate went up for a moment, and then it dropped back down again. So I'm going to real quick, I'm going to build something that I can slot onto these guys um, that won't disrupt the, 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 the paths. Uh, yeah, I think I'll do that in a... In a Warp time compression. I keep forgetting this word. Anyway, let's get to building something real quick. And there we have it. Unfortunately, there's no Hot Dog Squad signs yet. Uh, I'm sure they'll be coming out later, but they are not in the beta. Pity. But uh, we got those shacks going on. A simple little shack there, I think it worked. Kind of that sides to the corrugated roof. I think they're characteristic of, you know, Midwest stuff, so that you, you, uh, the rain and whatnot falls off in the correct direction. And while I was doing that, I mean, that obviously cost money, but still making money, despite the coaster breaking down a few times. What's your reliability at? Oh, you're not bad. Too expensive. Oh, no. Um, all right. So we are up. Oop, negative income for that month. Let's see what's going on financially. Uh, so, oh, yeah, construction costs. But then we still made money. Oh, because oh, I goofed and did things. Yeah. Uh, construction costs were negative. But that's because, wow, ride tickets went way down. It, I, it's... It's almost like it refunds tickets for some reason, which is interesting, but annoying. So this month, we're not going to do so good, but we should recover and have a better month next month. Multiple rides are broken down. Any guests complaining about litter? About vomit? Oy. Okay, it's time to take a pause and look around the park real quick and see if there's a certain hot spot that is just really, really bad. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of litter here. Interesting. And some vomit over there, too. Okay, so then uh, the quick solution is some trash barrels. Should help keep some of the trash collected. Um, whoa. Oh, that was weird. Um, 
we have a few people who's like, I think there was a vomit. Yeah, there's a little bit of vomit by the bathroom. And, wow, that's dark. Um, and that's obnoxious. Ooh, no. There you go. Um, they don't quite make it into the bathroom. And that path is too unlevel. Well, fine then. Be that way. But I can put one there. Um, I think we only have one janitor, though. So I'm not surprised if... Um, if Oh, no, we have two, and they're both doing okay. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and train this guy so he's a little better. Complete training, and we're going to raise his pay to the same as this guy, uh, 175, and he's happy. So that should help. Um, yes. Do we want another one yet? Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of vomit here, too. I mean, he's here. How you feeling? This job was made for me. I get paid so much. So you're saying I'm paying you too much? Cause I can take it away. Uh, let's play. Where are you going? You're not. You're not going over here. Okay. In that case, then we're gonna go ahead, and I know it's gonna cost a little more money. Oh. Ouchies. But I want to. You want the ride. You want the guest happiness to be decent. Yeah, it's dropped. Um. And if there's a bunch of litter and vomit, that's not good. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, let's go ahead. We're going to hire one more janitor. Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to hire one more janitor. There we go. Plop him over here. And we're going to uh, give him a new work roster. Create a new roster just between the cube. And can I select the entrance? No, I can't. I can't select anything else. It has to be either a ride, facility, or shop, entertainment. Oh, I can select entertainment point? Okay, so that might be the trick then. Uh, scenery, uh, props. Oh, no, that was the facilities, wasn't it? Custom. There it is, entertainment point. So I can go ahead and plop this over here, and it doesn't really matter. Just wherever. Now I can. Done. I can go back to that, go away, that building roster, or that job roster, whatever it was, staff, work rosters, so that didn't, yeah, it didn't save, because I just got out of it here. Um, we'll go ahead and add that to it, and the cube. Roster, entrance. Save the work roster. Good. And then, whoa. And then this new janitor over here. Where'd he go? There he is. He's still floating in the air. Can I not? Let's let him boop. There it is. Now I can select him. So we're going to assign him to uh, entrance. Good. So now he should help clean up this area. And that'll help increase our guest happiness and our park rating, etc., etc., and all the things. So, again, for the most part, making money. Um, I am going to take a pause from you guys. I mean, you know, I'm going to go away for a second. Um, I'm going to let it run for a little bit, and then we'll get, oh, hopefully, to a point where we can... I mean, we could... Uh, what's our financial looking like right now? We lost a lot of money because the rides were, like, not positive at all. Um... So we're gonna give it one more month. God, I wish this screen this I wish this wasn't so big. Good. Of course it has. Do they have they should be on 10 minute cycles, right? Yep, every 10 minutes. And insanity is a very popular ride as well. Uh, every 10 minutes. Ugh. See, we lost money and our park rating dropped a bit, but. This month, hopefully, we'll be back in the green. Or the black. Yeah, it looks like that's going to be the trend for this month. And we do know that a good chunk of this is loan payments. So, we could pay off this loan. We still have 4000 
Yeah, we're going to do that now. Boom. Done. Goodbye. Good riddance to you. 4,000. But now our loan payments, this stuff will accumulate slower. So that means we should... We, that'll give us more of a buffer for actually making money, which is great. So I know that's one of the like final objectives, pay off all loans. Um, oof, oof. Monthly, reach monthly profit from rides of 4,000 and then 6,000. <laughs> That'd be probably one of the hardest parts. Um, I know the loans are one of the later bits, but I want to get those all paid off now, and then we can jump into research. Uh, average guest happiness. This park is great. So what are their thoughts? What are their thoughts? Q. There's not much scenery here. Yeah. I spent loads on park entry. Interesting. So they do... Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Is it still there somewhere? I spent loads on park entry. So they are aware of paying at the park entrance, and then it does uh, affect their willingness to spend money on these rides. So let's go ahead and call this... Make it 12. That should still be okay. I hope. And we're going to let it go. Either way, we're definitely going to be in the green for this month. At least we should be in the green for this month. So I'm going to let it build up a bit until we can pay off that other lo I'll be with you guys in just a bit once I've racked up enough cash. Okay, we're at a point where we can... Uh, actually, now we can. We can pay off the loan. Um, but first, I'll go a little bit. Um, I've tried to enhance the queues a little bit. Like, I had a little, you know, a little cactus garden around this guy. And that bumped that up to 55. So that's better. Um, and then I also put in some trees. Some uh, ponderosa pines. As well as some little, uh, you know, some little shady coverage things for the hot, hot queue over here for the, for the coaster. Wow, that queue bumped up quite a bit. And that's 58. Good. So... It's not green yet, but it's still good. Um, and yes, like I said, we are at a pl plaint, a point where we can pay off that loan because it's just under thirteen thousand now, and we have fourteen thousand, so that's going to leave us with a thousand. And it's costing us seven fifty per month. So um, yes, done with that loan. Awesome. So all loans are repaid, and that should show up down here. Yes, excellent. So that's good. Um, now we just hope that we maintain in the green. Or the black. Yeah, the green. Yeah, I think we should be okay. But this should drop again, that other 750, right? Oh, maybe not this month, but next month. It won't get nearly this high because we don't have the loan payments or the interest payments. This, this number's here. That's it. It's done. So, we should be making even more money than we were before. And I was trying something. I mean, this obviously enhances the, the Q uh, scenery rating, which is interesting. Uh, unfortunately, I tried putting in, like, trees, more trees back here just to make the ride a little more dynamic, I guess. But I was hoping that it would increase, with, with scenery bits back here, that it would increase the rating. But 4.23, it doesn't. It doesn't do anything to it. So that's kind of sad. Whereas in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, you could keep plopping things around it and it would, <gasps> it would get better and better and better. Not so in Planet Coaster, which is a pity. Oh, my park rating keeps fluctuating, but it's not bad. But now we have that loan paid off. Um, Let's look at research really quick. Um start some research and I think I want the coaster a oh, thousand a month I can drop that down I can lower that um, new track ride new scenery Western theme typical an ATM uh, that's gonna be the teacups a crazy classic I don't know what that's gonna be that'll be the victory um, I think I want to go for the coaster and I can't drop that that's okay because we were paying just as much before 
with, um, what's it called? So we'll leave that be for now. And in days, we will have a new coaster design. Which is good, because we need a new coaster, hopefully with a coaster design, because I am not that great at designing coasters, at least not for this game. Um, so we have one with the correct excitement levels, oop, come back, with the correct excitement levels to, um, to satisfy the, the, the medium mission goals. Uh, good. Yes, excellent. Coast 4 is broken down. I know, I know, I know. And everybody spills out and leaves. It's a pity. Unfortunately, we haven't done much to enhance the park in terms of new rides in a while, so things are possibly getting a little... I, I kind of want to say stale in that regard, but... Aside from the coaster, but that was last episode. Uh, but uh, we will get some new things happening. Um, after we get that coaster researched, then we're going to research the... Yeah, then we're going to research the uh, the thrill ride. Yet yeah, another thrill ride here. And I think we might have, just like along this little back path over here, uh, we might have like the carousel and the whirly rig. Because those are popular for, you know, for families. Sure, they like those things. And I could even... Oh, that'd be a bit much. That'd be, that would be a lot much. There's always one ride broken down. Stupid monoliths interrupting everything. Good. Yeah, even with researching, we're still making money. I think that's one of the hardest things to do with this park. Good. Good, 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 good. good. Everything's good. Guests are happy. We have more teens than anything else. There's one broken down. That's okay. Uh, yeah. What are the guests' thoughts? I'm not queuing that long. Sorry. Not much scenery here. You're right, there's not. Cubes. Busy. At least none of them are complaining about prices of anything. That's that's a good one. A lot of people think the queue for the coaster is too long. Well, I wish I could increase the efficiency. I wish I could add more cars, but I can't. At least not and have it work. Not in the block section, which is the only safe way to have it work. Because if I, I can't, there's no other places to put it. any place that, that really makes any sense. I could try putting it back here again. I don't really think that would help. And we only get one more, and it would make it less exciting. So we'll leave it as is. So for this episode, we're just going to get through this research to see... Oh yeah, coal transporter. So it's probably going to be the mine train ride. Um, I can't... Oh, I'd increase it. There's no way to research now. Finish. No, we got days to go. So I'm going to let that clock run down, provided we still make money. Um, and then we'll be back when we get to reveal what new coaster we get. And that'll probably be it for this episode. So see you back here in just a moment once this is uh, at, you know, 100%. So the research has concluded. Come on. And we can go ahead and see Coal Transporter. Yep. And we can reveal. Yeah, the Canyon Runner Coaster. Hey, that looks really, really, really familiar. Looks like a popular mine train coaster at a popular theme park in uh, here in Southern California. Maybe. All right, so let's see. Go ahead. Pause, because it's just too much noise. Blueprint. Nothing. Ah, oh, we don't get the blueprints to them. You're not wooden. Family coaster? No. Get this one. Yeah. So we have to build a custom coaster. Steel? Wooden? Oh yeah, those are considered steel. Okay. What are you, Giga? Hyper? Inverted? Launched? No. Wing? You're other. You are listed as other. Alright, so, yeah, we'd have to build our own track for that, which is doable. Um, and, ooh, n now, yes. Now, now is the time. Uh, now, we can do something that actually goes down through here. Just a loop around the big monolith there. 
Um, but because this is a train, actually a train with length to it, uh, we can actually do something here that actually has a decent throughput. Um, yes. 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 Just trying to look at the park and where to put the bloody station. There's a few little, you know, plateaus and things here and there, but not that much flat space. Maybe up here? Yeah, maybe have the station come through here and... Yeah, come through here, dispatch, drop off a little bit, and then chain lift a little bit, and then plummet down into the ravine with the monolith. I don't want to go too low. I kind of want to hug the outside a little bit. Maybe do like a helix here around that monolith, and then up and over here. Can we go under? Oh, there is an under down there, though. That's kind of cool. This would be kind of cool to cut through right here. Does that go all the way through? Yes, more or less. It does, but then it goes up. Ooh, that's hard. Okay, hold on. I, 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 I need daylight here. There we go. So, what does this do? Does it go all the way through? Oh, yes. Yes, it does. Oh. I mean, there's daylight shining through. So, yes. Yes, it does. Okay, good. That'll connect up, and then that bumps into them. That's fine. We can do a lift hill again up and around. Kind of kind of inspired by a, uh, a popular mine train coaster ride that is in a popular theme park in here in California. Oh, this is our land over here. That might be better. It might be better to do an extension of the park. Have it come over here and have that coaster and then just poof, drop off here. That might be better. I'll have to look at it and play with it. But I think this will be a better coaster. If anything, even if it doesn't actually match the uh, the coaster requirements with, with all of this stuff, um, I think we should do pretty good. Uh, it will at least get it long enough. But either way, it will be... Um, it will make us money. I'm curious, though. Is there... <gasps> Ooh, just the regular wooden coaster. But again, it looks like there's no blueprints to go along with them. Uh, but I think the Mine Train Coaster has a lot of potential. That being said, though, I think that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. If you like, hit like, hit subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, pass the word. I will catch you later.